They're still clearing up, and many people are still in shock. Wednesday's bomb struck at the heart of the capital in one of its busiest shopping districts. The president came to the scene after cutting short a visit to Equatorial Guinea, where he was attending an African Union summit. And he gave this warning. The perpetrators of this, people who are directly involved and those who sponsor them, shall be brought to book. It's understood Nigeria's military had been put on red alert after intelligence that Boko Haram insurgents planned to attack Abuja. But for the third time this year, they got through what many believe is inadequate security. Now people are afraid to go shopping in the city centre. This electrical store may be open for business, but no one is buying. I don't feel safe. Everywhere, nobody, uh, we are not at rest. Nobody knows where next again. We don't know what can happen in the next few minutes now. And in a cell phone store nearby, it's a similar mood. We're not safe. We don't feel safe. We're scared. But we just want to come out here because it's business and we cannot close down. Nobody is safe. We don't know what, we have, what will happen tomorrow. But what need, we need more security in this country. Our governors, our presidents should do more when it comes to security aspects of this country. They should at least buckle up. Security contractors say they feel they're in the front line. Checks and searches have been increased, but no one is confident. Many of the owners of private security firms say too much is expected of their unarmed staff. They say it's the army and the police who should be doing more to provide protection for the people. But what more can they do? The organization representing Nigeria's lawyers says if its security forces are failing, the government should consider negotiating with Boko Haram. Terrorism is an international phenomenon. It's happening all over the world. It is not peculiar to us. But unfortunately, this has come and come too close and too harsh and too hard to us. We will have to deal with it somehow. We cannot throw up our hands. Government cannot throw up its hands. As the president visited casualties in hospital, though, he seemed resolute about taking a harder line. And he had said earlier that people should stop criticizing the security forces, but help them more instead. His words come at a time when public confidence in the army, the police, and the government appears to be at an all-time low. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Abuja.